Many women will present to their family physician's office requesting to start on an oral contraceptive pill for contraception or for other medical indications. There is no good evidence that one pill is better than another. The clinician should obtain a past medical history and family history to help determine the appropriateness of oral contraceptive pills for each woman. For example, a woman who has a personal or family history of hormone-dependent blood clots may not be a good candidate for any estrogen-containing contraception. If you determine that she is a good candidate for oral contraceptive pills, you may proceed to choosing a pill to start with. If a woman has been on a particular pill in the past with no problems, that is a good pill to start again. Obviously, each insurance formulary covers different pills, and this is an important criterion to review. Most low-dose pills have between 20 and 35 micrograms of ethanyl estradiol. It may be a good idea to start with the lowest estrogen dose available, 20 micrograms, and increase to control any breakthrough bleeding. You also need to decide whether to choose a monophasic or triphasic pill and determine when you will recommend starting the pills. There is no evidence that there is a difference between monophasic and triphasic pills. Triphasic pills were created to better mimic a natural menstrual cycle. Triphasic pills have varying estrogen and sometimes progestin doses for each week of the pill pack. Oral contraceptive pills are not contraindicated in smokers. However, each patient should be counseled that the risk of venous thromboembolism are elevated in smokers, especially smokers over the age of 35. Smokers should be encouraged to quit and should be counseled about the benefit to risk ratio of taking oral contraceptive pills. Another relative contraindication for OCP use is migraines. The World Health Organization recommends that women who have migraine with aura not use OCPs nor should women who develop migraines while taking OCPs, or women who have any type of migraine and are over 35. OCPs in these women cause unacceptable increased risk of ischemic stroke. Traditionally, women have been counseled to start taking their OCPs on the Sunday after the beginning of their next menstrual period. There is no reason to start a pill pack on a Sunday, except that a woman won't have her menstrual cycle on a weekend. New data shows that women may start OCPs at higher rates if they are started on the same day as their office visit. Here is an algorithm describing how you can start most women on OCPs the same day that she is in your office. If a woman has had unprotected intercourse more than five days prior to the visit and her last menstrual period was more than five days prior to your visit, she should wait until her next menses. For most other women, you can safely start her OCPs the day of the visit.